Hundreds of people protesting in Berkeley in opposition to the construction of student housing at the historic People's Park. At one point, construction was stopped after protesters clashed with construction crews as well as police officers. KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama live tonight at UC Berkeley with more on the demonstrations. Jenna. Mike, this was a very emotional day, and this conflict is not over. The protesters met here earlier about 5 o'clock here in Sproul Plaza and then marched down to People's Park. Some of them tell me that they plan to stay overnight and wait for the construction crews to come in the morning. Who's Park? People's Park. Who's Park? People's Park. Hundreds of protesters marched, carrying their message from UC Berkeley Sproul Plaza down Telegraph Avenue to People's Park. Their fight to stop UC Berkeley's plans, seen in this sketch, to build more than 1,000 housing units for students on an historic piece of land where free speech rallies and protests have been held for more than four decades. Overnight, police cleared streets around People's Park after a judge allowed construction to move forward. By midday, protesters blocked construction equipment, clashing with police and taking down fencing, eventually stopping the work. Our hearts are breaking right now. People have lost their lives defending this park, and what's happening today is wrong. This is wrong. As construction crews cut down the trees, Alyssa Smith and her son were in tears. It was uh, a total feeling of hopelessness. And he marks uh, this redwood that um, my grandma and my mom and our family uh, planted here. And to see them all being crashed down around us, was devastating. It was like I was screaming, I was crying. We have roots and that's what these trees are. These are our roots. A University of California spokesman said the project is critical to address the housing crisis. We provide uh, fewer beds for students than any of the UC campuses and we want this dorm to be open and ready to roll two years from now. That is a tight construction schedule. UC staff also say the university has helped move 46 unhoused persons to a nearby motel and opened a drop-in services help center. But some community members say UC should choose other sites. Out of nine sites where they can build without any opposition probably, certainly nothing like this, why would they pick People's Park? There are definitely students who are in need of housing, um, but that's not, that doesn't mean that they need to take away such like, basically like a sacred communal space of others. And after the rally, we actually saw people lifting up some of those fallen trees, carrying them over in groups and positioning them as kind of a barrier on the perimeter of the park. They also put up some of the barricades and other debris there. And many of them say they are planning to stay there overnight. A UC spokesman said that there is a plan in place if protesters try and stop construction tomorrow, but they would not give any details as to what that is. Mike. Yeah, Jenna, I was wondering if that plan did include the police department at all. But let me follow up with this. When you left the park a couple of hours ago, I know it was just around sundown, we saw the footage that you took, but did you see any police officers, any security still at the park a couple hours ago? There were a few uh, officers that I did see kind of patrolling along the perimeter, not actually in the park. None of the confrontations that we saw earlier in the day, Mike, but certainly that is a question as to what happens. The university is legally able to continue with the construction. A judge gave them that permission. So uh, they have the right to be there, but it is going to be uh, potentially a difficult situation tomorrow. Well, this was day one. We'll see what is in store for day two tomorrow. Jana Katsuyama live there at the Cal campus. Jana, thank you. The mayor of Berkeley did release a statement today on the situation. It reads in part, we're proud to honor the legacy of People's Park and better meet the needs of our community through an effort that's deeply reflective of Berkeley's values. Instead of pushing the unhoused from one neighborhood to another, we've put a roof over the head of nearly every individual living in People's Park and working with faith leaders. We have developed a daytime center for those in need.